What's up, everybody? Big Herc916. You tuning in to another edition of my vlog. Hopefully by now you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, supporting, because you know I'm all about the motivation and the positivity. And, um, you know, I throw some entertainment in there too. Also, make sure you guys subscribe to my um, Instagram and my Twitter, also Big Herc916, where I represent. And the other day, I put up a video about you have to be smarter than this. And it showed some um, black youth in a video with guns. And, um, and uh, apparently from the video, 20 people got indicted for uh, possession of firearms. Which to me seemed pretty crazy because I don't understand why you would have real guns on the set and um you know if you're filming a video you know you're going to be seen and uh you're on probation or parole why would you be around an unlicensed firearm you can carry a firearm if you're licensed but having an unlicensed firearm and putting yourself on camera is pretty stupid so tonight i thought i would do the flip side of this video and show a young, um, a young black girl who's very talented, who's an entrepreneur. Her name is uh, Makayla Omer, 11 years old, and she scored a $11 million deal with Whole Foods to sell her lemonade. Now, she was on Shark Tank a while back. Shark Tank is one of my favorite shows. And um, this girl really... Um, showed a lot of hustle. Now check her out. See if you guys can read that. She's on Shark Tank a while back, but now you look at that. An 11 year old young black girl, already a millionaire. And, uh, you know, selling lemonade, doing her thing on Shark Tank. And, you know, I got to, you know, hats off to her parents, man. You know, the, the ones who have laid down the foundation for her to be successful and, um, you know, for them being a good role model for her. And, you know, it's up to the parents of these little knuckleheads, these damn babies to step up and say, you know what, uh, it's time for you guys to make a change. And, uh, you know, I know how it is for a lot of young men and women when they hit those terrible teens, 13, 14, 15. You start doing a lot of dumb shit. I did a lot of dumb shit, you know, when I hit my teens because I got around negative influences and it, it uh, you know, the influence was far stronger than that of my mom. You know, I didn't have any male role model, you know, anybody to tell me, you know, hey, man, you should stick with skateboarding or, hey, man, you know, you're a good artist. You should stick with drawing or BMXing or, you know, sports or, you know, you know, stick with school. I didn't have anybody really pushing that. You know, you had, you know, certain people trying to tell you, oh, you know, don't do this, don't do that. But they didn't really give me the exposure I needed. And the key in life for success of children for your future generations is exposure. You got to expose your kids to something outside of what they're currently dealing with if they're in a very negative environment. Um, you know, I wasn't around a negative element my whole life, but when I was, it had a big impact on me and I was drawn to it. You know, it was intriguing, that lifestyle, the whole, you know, the the street the street dudes, you know, all that stuff was really, uh, it, it had a big impact on my life. But uh, there was, you know, uh, a couple years where I lived in Orange County in Huntington Beach, and I was around some um, pretty wealthy white kids, you know. And uh, I had never seen uh, somebody with a boat in their backyard you know, hot tub on a deck, you know, and uh, a poor speedster in a garage and a wine cellar and, you know, sub-zero refrigerators. I ain't never seen that shit, you know. We, you have some old bullshit refrigerators in the hood, but, you know, with some Kool-Aid and shit, but you didn't have no, old, 
you know, Sub-Zero, uh, stainless steel, you know, double doors with lobster and shit up in there just at your, at your uh, luxury, you know, or uh, uh, spiraling staircases, you know, that go up and, you know, when you turn 16, you get your pop's old Mercedes. I mean, wouldn't that shit wasn't going down. But I was exposed to it for a certain amount of time, uh, two years, you know, my junior and senior year, but I didn't fully absorb it. I didn't fully grasp what it was I was, I was exposed to. It wasn't until I reflected years later in the pen that I realized that that was, uh, it was there to show me something, but I didn't, I didn't understand it. You know, I was so frustrated. I felt like I was so out of place. And, uh, you know, I tried to talk to my mom about it and she didn't really have an answer. And so I felt like I was just lost, you know, from the 16 to about, you know, 22, 23. I was lost, man. I was just trying to figure things out on my own. I didn't have any direction. You know, the old default is always, oh, going to the military, which I didn't want to do. And, um, you know, I wanted to go to school. I wanted to do some stuff, but I didn't know really what I wanted to go to school for. And, uh, you know, I had my own clothing line in high school. Um, you know, so I had, I had started my own business. I was, uh, designing clothing and and logos and um i had even produced um my own rap uh demo tape and so i had a lot of entrepreneurial traits but um you know i didn't have uh the good fortune of having somebody to lace me up like this young girl who is going to go on to do big things you know and uh i just you know wanted to really give her her props because I say stuff about some of these young men out here who are acting a damn fool with the pistols, but then we have some other young um, adults that are doing the right thing that are using their, their skill set in a positive manner to be successful. And uh, reflecting back on just my childhood and the dumb mistakes I made and the things that I, I was, I was, you know, drawn to, if I would have had the right guidance, if I would have put my energy into, you know, the clothing business and had somebody mentor me, you know, I just don't tell them where I'd be right now. You know, I'd be in a whole, you know, a whole nother, uh, I know a whole nother level as far as just business. And, um, you know, I probably wouldn't be here to share these videos with you, but I know I would have, you know, went down a different path. And a lot of you guys out there, you put so much energy into being hard and to being some thugged out gangster. And all you're doing is throwing rocks at the penitentiary, man. You're waiting for those, the penitentiary to invite you in. You're waiting for them to open the doors and embrace you. And I'm telling you, man, it, it ain't nothing to be embraced up in there, man. You know, a bunch of, you know, COs waiting to, Kick your motherfucking ass if you don't act right. You know, a bunch of other dudes trying to tell you what to do. Um, you know, fights over the TV room, you know, wearing used underwear. Uh, somebody looking in your butthole when you when you when you go to a visit, you know, and or just random searches. Somebody, you know, going through your shit, eating shitty food. I mean, ain't nothing cool, man. Ain't nothing cool. The people you see in the penitentiary who are doing Facebook and stuff like the Instagram, they wish they were out. They don't want to be up in there doing that shit. They wish they were on the street living it, you know? You know, you don't want to be in a penitentiary with a bunch of men watching watching TV and, you know, fantasizing about shit. You want to be doing it, living it. I know every day I was in there, I wanted to get out and live it, man. And, uh, you know, I'm not trying to scare you guys straight. Somebody asked me, hey, man, why don't you do a scare straight? And it's not about trying to scare you into submission you guys are tougher than anybody i know you 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 know you already done probably popped at somebody or put in some work or did something so for me to try to scare you into not doing what you're doing it's not gonna work all i can try to do is embarrass your dumb ass and uh, and making you look see how stupid you are and if you got 11 year old girl who can go out here and sell lemonade and be successful then what are you doing? Why are you wasting your time, you know, looking like a damn fool when here's a perfect example of someone who was doing it the right way. 
and you guys all have the same potential. If you have the capability of putting together a music video and, you know, lyrics and all these different concepts and words, you can flip that same stuff, man, and, you know, start a business, whether it is it's designing urban skateboards or scooters or, um, you know, renovating buildings and creating, a, uh, you know, uh, tech centers for kids to come and study. You guys got enough money. You got all the damn trap houses. Put all your money together and put together a tech center, man. Create the next uh, Mark Zuckerberg, you know, or, you know, the next Bill Gates. They're in the hood. They're, they're there waiting for somebody to cultivate them. You guys have the resources to uh, help them get further than you did. And, uh, you know, I always say exposure is the key. You know, you take your kid from the hood, you put them in the suburbs, let them see how the people over there are living. If you don't like that shit, if you don't like, uh, you know, not having to worry about carrying a pistol and living in a big house and driving a nice car and traveling, if you don't like that, then I don't know what to tell you, man. You must be a damn fool. You know, I mean, you don't want to elevate. You like hanging in the grimy environment and having to worry about whether or not you'll make it past your 17th, 18th or 20th or 22nd birthday. Fuck that, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, if somebody would have picked me up and put me in their house and uh, I would have had opportunity to live in some Newport mansion and and, and and go to school full time and, and, and drive the, one of their cars, Range Rover or Porsche and just, you know, put the work in. Shit, man, I would have been a motherfucking academic gangster. You know, those kids over there, they take it for granted because, oh, man, they that's just that comes natural. They that they got a given for them. They don't even have to think about it. And they they can go to Stanford or Berkeley or, you know, uh, uh, USC or, you know, uh, or or Chapman or Brown, you know, or or Yale. They, you know, they don't have to even think about it, man. It's already set up for them to win. But for you guys, for us, you have to really put the effort in, man. And parents, man, if you want to help your kids bust their ass across town, spend the money and get a, a, a zip code that allows them to go to a better school or even invest the money for a private school so that they can be out of place, make their dumb asses feel uncomfortable. The more uncomfortable, the more they'll start looking at things differently because they'll realize that life is not about hanging out, being a damn knucklehead. You have the potential to be a great business person, a successful individual. You know, I, I used to sit around like, man, if I would have stuck with my damn clothing, if I would have stuck with skateboarding, you know, I would have been, you know, way before Pharrell doing this thing, man. I was I was nice with the skateboard, you know, before I got all buffed out and shit. But I was doing my thing, man, you know, and uh I had swag, but I didn't have the support. You know, it got to a point where, you know, I needed a skateboard and, and well, I mean, I'm spending the money on that thing. I ain't got the money for that. You keep tearing them up. I mean, goddamn. <laughs> this is an investment, man. And that's what I said. Fuck it. You know, when I kept hearing all that negative shit, the shit that wasn't conducive for me to continue my my, you know, my my dreams, I'm just, I went to the hood. I, I got down and dirty in the motherfucking streets. But you guys, hope you know, hopefully you guys can turn a different, a, you know, a different corner, you know, because you have me lacing you up here with these videos, giving you some inspiration so that you don't have to, you know, just throw the towel in, man. You know, even if your parents don't give you the game, I'm giving you the game, man. Go hang around some nerds, you know, get used to uh, being being outside your comfort zone. You know, it, it'll change you, man. You realize how stupid is it, man, to want to just hurt each other for nothing. You know, you guys, for nothing. You get mad, you get to a certain age, just want to kill each other for nothing. You know, you, then you go to prison and you work a job for, you know, eight cents an hour. You 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 work the penitentiary job all day because all you guys go to work in there. Nobody protests and not doesn't go to work. Everybody works, 
So then why don't you just do the same shit out here, man? Put your money together, man, and buy you a business. Invest in a franchise. I don't give a damn if it's a if it's a hot wing spot, man. A damn wing stop or something, man. A subway. A, a shoe store. You guys all buy shoes. Go go in and buy you a shoe store. Put your money together and invest in a in a in a business in a community, man. Go get you a passport and travel. Get the hell up out the hood. See what else is out there in the world. You know, and I, I just I don't I don't want to be like I said, just knocking every everybody out there who's trying to be doing their thing because you know you know I, I want to be I want to be a gangster rapper. You know, I, I was trying to back in the day. When I used to listen to NWA, I was trying to be like, oh, man, you know. But my mom was like, you ain't going to be doing that shit in my house. And nobody supported. Oh, I'm talking like that. So I just said, fuck it. So I went and did the shit for real. I would have been better off fucking doing it on, on a motherfucking microphone and making money off it. But I was out there, you know, doing the shit for, in the streets for real. Like a dumbass. You know, and it's like, man, when you have talent, man. You know, until people see you make it, then they're like, oh, man, I knew you were going to make it. You know, it's hard. I know it's hard to hold on to it. I know it's hard to, you know, avoid a lot of the pitfalls. But the opportunities are out there. Look at this young girl, man, 11 years old. She's a millionaire. You guys could all be on the same path, man. You got to be smarter, though, you know. And there is success out there. This little girl, the perfect example of success, man. I look at her her and her her presentation on Shark Tank and what she's accomplished, and I'm like, fuck, man. You know, I wish I would have got my shit together a long time ago. I was always drawing and making shit and being creative and hustling bike parts and skateboard parts and, you know, designing shit. But nobody cultivated because everybody just wants to be fucking normal. I never want to be fucking normal. I know you guys don't want to be fucking normal. That's why you watch this channel, man. Anyway, this Big Herc 916, man. This little girl's an inspiration to all you guys. You know, turn a different corner. Uh, you know, put your minds together in the right direction. And you too could be successful.